Yes, that was a lot more enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do, though, is I feel that one of the best ways to learn about customer service is to look at your own experiences as a customer. Think of a time when one of you received excellent service, the kind of service that turns you into a cheerleader for that company, that organization the best form of marketing that you can get. And what did the people do or not do uh, that made you feel? What was going on that made you walk out of there going, wow, that was great service. They deserve an A plus, right? But the most common customer service mistakes are number one, not getting customer feedback and not doing anything with it, all right? So what kind of customer feedback are you getting for your BBB? How do you know what kind of a job you're doing with your customers, besides that they don't renew? Mm, interesting question, isn't it? See, because otherwise you assume you are doing a good job, and then bingo, they say we're quitting, you know, for whatever reason. You want to keep your hands on that all the time. I can't tell you how many companies don't go into, you know, don't go into customer feedback. Another one is when you finally, when you hire people, you, you don't do a good job of interviewing and hiring the right people to start with, all right? And that's why it is good to poach them from other companies. But when you hire them, you, you know, here's, here's, the, um, here's the phone and here's how you work this and okay, go for it, you know? And you don't train them. You don't orient them right and you don't train them. Part of making exceptional customer service happen is those first few weeks. And if you just throw them up against the wall and see if they'll stick, that's not going to work, okay? A third mistake I see a lot of, and that is allowing poor behavior of employees to continue. Nobody likes to fire anybody, but you have to try to coach them. You need to go through the process legally. But if you allow someone to continue poor behavior, then everybody else looks around and says, well, if they're doing it, why, you know, why do I have to be nice to customers? So, and, and that's all part of that management commitment and management direction and walking your talk because it's, it's like Ron Zimke said uh, years ago. He said, okay, this train is going north and, you know, we're going to uh, aim for excellent customer service and if you don't want to get on that train, get off. And so management commitment is, is really an important part of it. Now I hope that today I've just sort of just given you a, a little bit more insight into what goes into making good customer service and making that A plus rating happen. Thank you, you guys. <laughs>